the service I get from the GP practice in Epping um, is excellent. I couldn't fault it. I just came out from a GP appointment. The actual service is spectacular, but you can't fault it really. I get excellent care at the hospital. I couldn't ask for better. Well, I think they're amazing. Um, obviously, um, I think nurses are angels. Rehabilitation, the money that's given to, into drugs, the expert care. It's there when you need it. Um, there is always someone on the end of the phone and you know you're going to get help at the end of the day. Any experience I've had with Princess Alexander's, um, sort of for, you know, anything A&E or operations and things like that, that's always been really positive. The doctors are trying really hard to do everything they can. Um, the tests and the things that I have through the service are working well. It is a great service. It's kept me alive for years and years and years and without it, I really wouldn't be here. Life without NHS would be expensive. People would worry about their children getting hurt and worry that no one's looking after them. I think there'll be a sense of insecurity and uh, panic. I think life without the NHS would be very sad. A lot of people would be perhaps priced out of getting the care that they need. Life would be awful without it, um, you know, or very, very expensive if we were having to pay for our own care. Obviously, there would be times maybe that we wouldn't be able to afford, you know, for operations. People probably wouldn't know how to get the care that they need, whereas the NHS, there are systems in place and channels of communication, referral systems, so it'd be a sad world without it, really. <laughs> Life without the NHS would be, am I allowed to swear? <laughs> it's unimaginable for me to have a UK without an NHS. Life without the NHS would be scary, I think. If it wasn't there and it was just a private service, then what are people going to do? You know, the vulnerable, you know, children, older people, people that don't have so much money. You know, that, that would be absurd. Life without the NHS would be awful. Can't think of anything worse, honestly. It's the best thing about our country. The last few years, Waiting times have been a bit longer, um, especially when it comes to making appointments. You'll phone and they probably can't see you for maybe like a month, six weeks. You have to call up in the morning and you're not necessarily going to get an appointment. Is it something that you can, that they've always got a backup level of, of, of blank stock appointments that are always kept free for the day? Maybe later hours. More staff at the GP surgery. They've got so many patients, you just can't get seen. Clearly, I think they need they need more stuff. They need more stuff to be able to cope with the demands and be able to react quicker. More incentives into going into hospital and becoming a nurse and doctor. Maybe half the price of the university costs than more people going to NHS, which would help the overcrowding. They should spend money on A and E. A and E is a bit of a tragic place. Uh, I guess no one really wants to go there. More walking clinics because I know we got uh, got rid of them a couple of years ago. And I think there needs to be a lot of easier communication. Ambulances, um, we've had some issues in the area about ambulances taking a long time to get to places. I don't think anyone probably has the same needs, so it, they need to be able to adapt to that and as well need to listen to patients sometimes. My sister got in car accident, it's extremely amazing. She helped her through the process, get the right uh, prescription, the right drugs to help her through this situation. I've had glandular fever before and they pretty much saved my life. So without that, I would not be good. I've had like a referral, I had to go to the hospital and that was like very efficient, very good, yeah. So that was really quick and I was impressed with that. Uh, my father was in the hospital have a broken hip. He broke his hip and they, they dealt with it really quickly. It was within 24 hours it was dealt with, which was great. So the actual care is wonderful, but it's sometimes the fact that he then, getting home wasn't really organised very well. The kind of the dealing with actually how he needs to look after himself after he got home was perhaps not as good as it could have been. My father, uh, we had to take him into A&E this week. The service was again fantastic. The NHS served his purposes. He was in, it, in out, sorted and back home within three hours. So. He was happy. My mum goes to the hospital there a lot because she's not very well. But they're brilliant with her, brilliant because she's got um, she's got a disease that is an ongoing thing. So she's seen straight away because of her problem. I have to say we've had excellent service from physiotherapy, occupational therapy, all local ones. They've been superb. I need to tell people more that you can do it online. Uh, I wasn't aware that I could book an appointment online, but, but I think they just need to remind people more and more 
In fact, if you want to book an appointment, you can go online and do it. Perhaps even like web chat with the doctor if you could, rather than, especially if you're really sick and you can't get out of the house. Uh, book appointments, you know how they have on Apple and you can just chat to someone. Do that, but the NHS have a little advisor, that'd be cool. I think they're trying hard, do things like online appointments um, and things like with prescriptions and stuff. I don't know, it must be tough because we know this stuff costs money. I think online, I think sending letters at this point isn't the best thing to do for my generation. So um, yeah, online systems, yeah, that'd be a lot better. That would save a lot of, save a lot of trouble. They're very speedy when it comes to getting appointments for children, which is good. Um, children, their health is very important and their little bodies can't cope as well as ours. So if they need to be seen by a doctor, they need to see a doctor as soon as they can. Children's side, as I have two children, amazing. I can get next day. Um, so I can't fault them really there. And my daughter, she had appendicitis and it was terrifying and when she got to the hospital she had an emergency operation and it was amazing, it saved her life, so without it, it would be awful. I work in childcare so I know parents, they've said, oh we were on the phone to 111 last night and they were really reassured by it. I love having somewhere to go if I'm concerned about my kids or if I've got stuff going on that I'm worried about. I'm very grateful for it, so yeah. I think it's something worth fighting for. People really do need to value that service. I think it's a bit overcrowded due to the air needs. Like, uh, some people take it for granted. Like you come in for a cough, I don't always think that's acceptable. There are people that people that go in and, and you know they, they don't really need to or they can sort it out themselves. Just use your own uh, common sense to think is if it's worth going to hospital. You know, some of my friends go, go to A&E because they got cold or the flu. But, you know, yeah, definitely be appropriate with how you use it. People can waste time, people's time, and go there for reasons that they could just go to the doctors and deal with it there, or a walk-in centre would be easier, would take the pressure off, you know, people that are real, real, really in need of emergency treatment. We should all be cautious with how much we use it, using it wisely, and making sure we get to appointments and that we, you know, communication is difficult sometimes with appointments, and it could be perhaps a tendency to to see, oh, okay, I can't get through, so I won't cancel that appointment, but I think we have to kind of persevere with that. Still, as they do now, the little reminders, if you miss your appointment, it's however much per appointment, and it sort of makes you think. It's one of our national treasures, and it should be nurtured.